I had a life probably like like you described, where I didn't get enough reading time. In fact, I remember when my children were babies and they'd wake up in the night, I'd think, instead of saying, oh, no, I have to get up, I'd think, oh, good, I can read for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I always had something that I wanted to read that I saved for those quiet in the middle of the night hours when no one would bother me. If it had been some time since I'd been able to read, I'd say to the children, we're having a bring a book to the table breakfast, or this is a reading dinner. And, and they'd say, yay, it didn't happen every night. It was rare enough that we'd say, reading night, everybody bring a book to the table. It was the quietest dinner. We all had our favorite book. That engendered a love for reading in our own children. I didn't ever tell them to turn out the lights if they were reading. If they had a book they loved to read, I let them read as late as they wanted to read, sometimes till midnight or one or two in the morning, even if they were young children. I wanted to foster that love of reading. A reading child is a child who will stay out of trouble. That's a belief I have. There's something wholesome in a child wanting to feed their mind. There's, you have to imagine things when you're reading that, that only you can see, visualize things only you can see. That's why it's important to select good things. I don't know that there's enough great literature for younger children. I wish there were, was more of that. But I, I encouraged my children to read and put a bed by the side of their, or a lamp by the side of their bed. They always had a little bookcase by the side of their bed. Yes, we read the scriptures. Yes, we read the Liahona and the Friend and the, and the New Era. But I wanted them to be acquainted with and familiar with good literature. It gave us lots of things to talk about as a family. And a lot of our family culture is centered around some of our favorite things we read aloud in, in cars and on trips together and, and at night. One of my favorite memories is years ago I had long hair like Goldilocks or Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> and at night I would sit down with the children and start to read the scriptures. We'd read something from the Book of Mormon and then we'd do a read aloud book. And as we read, they would brush my hair. They took time, turns brushing my hair. That was my favorite memory. The night I cut my hair, they didn't comb it anymore, and it broke my heart. I thought, you don't want to brush my hair it's short? It, it almost changed the dynamic of us reading together. Mm -hmm. So reading is a great, enriching personal and family.